First time I heard Triumph music on the radio. Wow, 1976, first album, uh, young band, getting very popular around the city. Um, we had a guy that was hanging out with the band a lot. His name was uh, Nick Masetic, uh, Big Nick for short. Nick was big, to say the least. If you looked at Nick, he scared the living hell out of you. Uh, but he was uh, like kind of a roadie, um, he wrote for RPM magazine, he drove limousine, he also was a part-time jock on this little station just north of Toronto. So Big Nick, um, he had the Sunday slot and he said, he called up, called us all and said, hey, I'm going to play the Blinding Light Show off your new record this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Yikes, this is going to be scary. <laughs> the first time on the radio. Uh, anyway, got in my car. Turned on CFNY, couldn't get the signal, or it was so weak. I had to, I started driving north towards Brampton so I could pick the signal up. Sure enough, I, got, I think I got to you know Mount Pleasant in Eglinton, and there was the signal. At two o'clock, here comes Nick, and here comes the Blinding Light Show. It was like died and gone to heaven. It's hearing your music on the radio for the first time. It's like that's what you make records for. Gave us the idea, the hope, I would say, rather the idea that we got a shot at making it here. We really have a great shot. And it's all because our record got played on the radio. And uh, the rest kind of is history. You know, we're kind of, we've been a radio staple for over 40 years now, both all over North America. So, uh, first time, it's like on the way here. Guess what I heard on the radio? A Triumph Sock. You know, it's like, uh, one of those great things, you go, wow, that sounds so cool.